Are you a network engineer? And do you want to move to cloud computing career? You have all of the advantages in the world. Is it really advantageous knowing all of these network technologies such as routers, switches, firewall, etc.? Well, this is what this video is all about. We will talk about both network, cloud-related technologies, and certification path as well. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the Cloud and Data Center! And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Here are the typical network skills that you probably already have as a network engineer. Now, I'm gonna rate these common skills based on the relevance to manage the cloud. And take note, I am more familiar with AWS or Amazon Web Services, but I expect Google and Microsoft Azure have the common requirements when it comes to network technologies. So the rating will be five, or one to five. Five means valuable skills and most relevant to the cloud administration. And uh, one means very little relevance. Okay, so the basics such as IP addressing, subnetting, CIDR, basic filtering, you will be needing these in creating and managing virtual private cloud. Okay, and what else? NACL or network access control list is also very common. So I will give this five. Next, switching, such as VLANs, trunking, port channel slash link aggregation group, and SDP. You won't see these technologies or configuration, though VPC or the virtual uh, private cloud is considered like a VLAN with a subnet, of course. So I will only give this two. Next, routing skills. So we have a static and dynamic routing, and we also have NAT or network address translation. In AWS cloud, there is what we call internet gateway. So basically it's a cloud router where you manage routing and uh, network address translation as well. So I will give this five. Next, advanced networking, such as enterprise and data center technologies. So we have wireless, we have HSRP, VRP, and these are the first hop redundancy protocol. We also have VPC, or this is, this is a different VPC. This is VPC for switches. Uh, this is virtual port channel. In an open standard, they call this MLAN. Okay, what else? VXLAN. So these are a little more advanced. These are not available in the cloud, unfortunately. It's good to have, especially if you're doing hybrid cloud but you will not see this in the native cloud configuration. You will not need this at least in the associate or up to the mid-level. Next, security or network security, where you do advanced filtering and creating generic rules and generic policies and what else, VPN slash IPsec. I will give this four. You will be managing lots of rules, policies from many different configurations and services. And from time to time, you will be needing your VPN and IPsec skills. Non-routing and switching skills. Now, as a network engineer, you probably know how to manage and familiar with routers and switches. Now, it's not only routers and switches that is very important and highly valuable when it comes to networking and managing the cloud. All right, so one of the most important device and technologies is application load balancer, or sometimes we call it ADC or application delivery controller, like F5 Big IP, where it does application load balancing, and it is associated to servers, network, and policies as well. And it's one of the most important skills to have. Next, web application firewall. 
So if you are already familiar with application load balancing, it's advantageous also if you understand WAF because this is a service or a module that is associated to your application load balancer or ADC. And this is designed to protect your web application and APIs. You are moving to cybersecurity now. Not bad. Next, servers and virtual machines. So in AWS, we have what we call EC2 or Elastic Compute 2. And this is also known as the instances. Well, basically these instances or EC2 are just a bunch of VMs. And obvious, it would be really helpful if you know how to manage VMs like allocating system resources, like memory, CPU, etc., and also connecting it to the network. Next, DNS or domain name service. In AWS, there's what we call Route 53. This is a reliable way to route users to the internet applications. You, as a cloud network admin, you will be monitoring DNS records, DNS zones, health checks, DNS traffic policies, and many others. Okay, so these four technologies are really important to understand before or even you are started moving to the cloud as your new career. Uh, next, um, this is uh, other skills to learn, not mandatory, but it's very advantageous. All right, so not a priority. So first, applications. Applications specifically web, okay? Because in uh, AWS, the reason why it's called uh, Amazon Web Services because most of the applications are web-based. All right, second, containers, okay, such as Docker, Kubernetes. Next, APIs. Well, we have many different APIs. We have application-based APIs. We also have network-based APIs, storage APIs. You as a network engineer, it's very advantageous if you already know the basics of APIs and you are also familiar with network-based APIs. Next, storage. But so sorry for those data center network engineers who specializing in storage networking. Uh, storage networking such as FCOE, iSCSI, FC. Um, we also have uh, storage specific switches. No, you won't be needing this in the cloud. If you are really serious, moving from a network engineer to cloud engineer, you have to take certifications. Let's say, or let's assume that you're already CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate. You need to understand how network connects to applications. And you also need an overview to cloud network technologies, such as application load balancer, DNS, web application firewall or WAF, CDN, and many others. And the best certification exam for this is F5101 or Application Delivery Fundamentals. This is one half of F5CA or F5 Certified Big IP Administrator. F5101 exam is an entry level F5 exam. Now, when you say entry level, this is prior associate level certifications. And here are the entry-level cloud certifications. I chose the big three because these are the most valuable when it comes to name and in-demand or market demand, but still depends what service provider your company is using or which service provider you want to specialize. So in AWS, they have AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Okay, this is their entry-level cloud certification. For Microsoft Azure, they have Microsoft Azure Certified Azure Fundamentals. And for Google Cloud, Google Cloud Certified Cloud Digital Leader. All cloud entry-level certifications are only very cheap, 99 or 100 US dollars. Let's say you have now a good understanding with cloud technologies and you want to move to associate level so that you can upgrade your cloud skills. All right, for F5, you have to take and pass F5201 or TMOS administration. Then you will acquire F5CA or F5 certified big IP administrator. Now for cloud service provider, we have AWS certified solutions architect associate. Now for Microsoft Azure, it's a bit different because Microsoft Azure 
they already have a network certification in associate level. This is Microsoft Azure Certified Azure Network Engineer Associate. Now for Google Cloud, this is same as AWS. Their associate level certification is generic. So meaning you don't only understand and learn network technologies. You also understand other cloud technologies as well. In Google Cloud, they call this, or they the title is Google Cloud Certified Associate Cloud Engineer. Now, for specialization, for cloud network specialization, this is also considered mid slash professional level. For F5, we have F5 CTS or Certified Technology Specialist in Big IP DNS. Probably the only valuable certification for global load balancing and DNS. For me, this is even more valuable and relevant than F5 CTS in LTM. For AWS, they have a network specialty certification. This is AWS Certified Advanced Networking Specialty. Okay, so this is more routing, more NAT, more hybrid cloud discussion and learning. And for Google Cloud, they also have specialty certification. This is Google Cloud Certified Professional Network Engineer. Again, more specializing in network security technologies. Okay, um, again, uh, sorry, not only networking, but with a little of security. So you don't only talk about VPC, you also talk about a little IAM and a web application firewall as well. Tell me, what do you think? Are you ready to understand cloud network technologies? Or are you still enjoying enterprise or on-premise data center network engineer career or waiting for hybrid cloud design project? Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.